Oh, hello there, Rim Rim. I didn't see you come in. You're probably wondering, why was there no episode yesterday? Oh, but I can't talk about it. There is there is something private going on in my very real life. I am under NDA that I cannot discuss. I wrote the NDA. So it would be very silly if I myself were to discuss these things. Basically, over the next couple of weekends, maybe like Friday, maybe Saturday, but probably only one day a week, I'll be honest with you. For the next couple of weeks, I'm going to need a day off. Eventually, you'll find out. I can't discuss it, okay? Please don't ask. We can't talk about it for a while. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> and by goodbye, I mean, hello. We didn't finish in the pod. Wait. Did I, did I not finish in the pod last episode? What even happened last episode? Ooh, that was a close one. I double-checked. We were in the psychic pod. I do have some bad news on that front, but everything is fine. Balance is restored. I didn't get any psychic abilities. Unfortunately, I did have to do some more save game fixing in between episodes, but it should be a permanent fix now. Everything should be fine. So we ended in the pod, but we technically didn't start in a pod because I was already out of the pod because I had to fix some things. So you know what? Get back in the pod for good measure. Ugh, two days. Well, that's tomorrow's problem. Or I suppose technically the day after tomorrow's problem. What is the plan at this point? Where do you go from here when you have all the research possible? The base is built, and I certainly won't say prepared, but it is definitely built. And we've proven that we can at least stand up to a facet of void. We can stand up to the horrible, enormous void monsters that came in mass. I have a great plan for where we go from here. Something I've been threatening for a long, long time. Operation Bars. No, 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 not the not the bars that Grigner likes to hang out in. No, I'm talking about the far more inconvenient game-breaking style bars. The ones that will, in theory, fill up this entire screen. Psycaster bars, Sanguifage bars, we've got Mechanator bars, we've got Psychic bars that we can't see right now because we're in the pod. It's time for us to collect them all. This is going to be horrible to watch. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm very good at this. Right, so firstly, there was a comment on the last episode where somebody suggested that the Vulcan cannon probably wasn't working because they were connected up to the fire control turret. So they were they were just not interacting properly. So here's my uh, big grand concern. I don't think this is enough for the turrets. And I think we've got a rather large outside wall that's pretty undefended at this point. Why the hell not throw some more turrets on the outside here with some embrasures? Okay, the other comment I should probably address is everybody was saying there was a katana when I was searching for one for our brand new Samurai Weeb 78. Well, I suppose not really brand new. She woke up and decided she was a samurai now. A cryo katana. A blade with an experimental internal fusion system which creates a cold burst along its blade similar to the effects of liquid nitrogen. Wow. Uh, is that good? It's okay, but the problem is, it's nowhere near as good as the Concrete Baby Katana. And if I'm in the pod, who else is going to be able to defend this base? Here I go, Concreting again. It's 1,480 Concrete per reinforcement. I think we can afford to do a bit more damage on that one. Do we need to increase the armor penetration? Really? Oh god, that's slow now. Holy crap. I, I dream of a day when we can make more Concrete than we're using to reinforce this Katana. We're going to have to throw down more Concrete production facilities. I might have to throw down one of those. Oh, what is this? Just a cell assembler Mark 1? We can do better than that. I mean, what else am I here for? I was put on this earth for one simple reason, and that is to concrete. We need 10,000 steel, 7,500 plastic, 100,000 silver, 450 components. Okay. Um. Right. RIP Colony Wealth. I mean, if that last Void Raid wasn't... You scared the life out of me, then. If that last void raid wasn't bad enough, strategic life simulation, Mech High Foxtrot, send a new ship to land on the planet. I haven't checked this in a while. I can't imagine it's looking particularly good out here. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, that's Void's problem. If that's Void's problem, Void is my problem. That just makes it my problem indirectly. I haven't really thought this through. 78, uh, where's the trade console these days? I wanted to trade with this Barnix trader. So, you might remember, 78 and me and Grigna, we're all, we're all... Uh, oh, no, 78 isn't. I was going to say we're all Arcotech, but 78 isn't. Grigna and... And I... I am? Grigna and me is? <laughs> what a stupid language. The point is Grigna and, and myself are both Arcotech. Oh, okay. So we should definitely upgrade 78. Five good small medicine, 25 new training, three advanced components, one persona core. You're telling me we still haven't got any new training? What? What the hell has been going on all this time? Neutro... Nothing. Neutro, nothing. That's not right. Uh, who's on drugs? Nobody. Oh, well, that explains a lot. <laughs> I can't be held accountable for this. I have to reset these characters every bloody episode. Their, their work tabs constantly reset. They're the same characters, I need to clarify. They're identical to how they used to be. It's just sometimes their powers don't carry over. Why can't we make Neutro? We haven't got any fucking herbal medicine. Are you joking? That's stopping me doing all my hopes and dreams. I, I, while I'm at the plant screen, I want to address the elephant in the room. This thing, I'm not going to try and say it. Lots of people thought it was a bit. It's not a bit. 
There's a whole series on the second channel of me failing to say that over and over and over. It's not a bit. It's because of that bloody song where the man puts it in the water for antioxidants. It's because of that. It's it's just in my brain now permanently. And those two words don't work in that order. What was I growing? I can't even remember. I genuinely tried for 10 minutes to say the bloody purple plant. Here, heal root. Gregner, go. We have drones, but I don't know how they work. Nano cultivator. Oh my god, look, it did work. It just swapped them out. Oh, that's that's great. So in theory, is it whips back up here? Look at that. 10 out of 10. Game of the year. No, 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 no. No, you seem to misunderstand. I disabled this. No, no, no. I turned that off. Wow, stop, I was disabled. Uh, well, what the fuck is that then, eh? What the hell is even that thing doing there? What, did it just spawn in randomly in the world? This is a metaphor. This is a metaphor. <laughs> um, what is an apotheosis? I have to ask. Combine the power of fully automatic void and coal into one glorious weapon. This weapon is actually absurd. Oh, your faction tech level is ultra, but the project's tech level is Arcotech. Oh shit, hello. Oh my lord. Oh my god, what the hell is even that? Okay, um, shooting accuracy plus 69, nice. Two, seven damage with the stopping power of two, armor penetration of 80%, that's pretty high. Range of 15, obviously, is fairly irrelevant for my guy. Accuracy 100%, again, fairly irrelevant. Range cooldown and aiming time is to zero. So it's effectively a very, 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 very good minigun. Amazing. Okay, sure, we can do that. Why the hell not? Because I had them on automatic research, it seems to imply that there's a, look at this, fully automatic gun. A legendary gun named after an individual rumored to achieve unmatched combat abilities. I can't argue with that. Surge power was so mighty and especially powerful Arcotech manifested a batch of weapons that emulates this person's powers. Such a mighty gun is a rare sight to see indeed, but any person who wields it has the world at his feet. As long as they can actually manage to aim the thing and manage to carry it, it is really heavy. It is very heavy, but I can I can handle it. I mean, look at this channel I've been carrying on my back all these years. Where the hell did we craft that fully? Uh, I maybe it's even a quest item. Dare I say it? I certainly hope not, because we're not going to be doing any quests in a hurry. Oh, or maybe just automatic. Uh, it's double double T. Auto. Oh my god, where the hell do I craft it? Okay, quests. Hunt for the artifacts for Dawnbreaker. Uh, miracle pills discovered. I get those all the time in my inbox. They can't be that rare. Nothing. Actually, nothing. If we say craftable, and then sort by like fire rate, because it had zero point one. Nothing. Nothing at all. Holy shit, this is gonna take forever. Even with 78's incredibly high research speed and all of the lab equipment, granted we haven't got quite as much as we had before, we're gonna need someone with a very, very large brain to find this thing. Come on, you got things to do, get up. What begins at the pod ends in the pod. We can't spend all day in the pod. Boom. Sigh. There we go. Oh, we're gonna have to retrain all of those, but that's okay, we'll get there one day. And that'll be even more things for my bars project. So right now, we have Mechanator. We have Sanguifage, we have Psychic, we have Psy. What other things use bars? Oh, shield belts and shield packs, but I'm not entirely sure we can wear them using the war casket, right? Uh, combat gear, I'm looking for. Mechanoid combat gear, here we go. Can you wear that at the same time, or is that... Ooh. Oh! Hello there! That's another bar, thank you. And I believe we can wear regular shield belts too with that, can't we? High power shield belt. The only problem is that will... Oh my god, it was legendary. Oh, no. I was about to say the only problem is this Mike Corral means being a melee character, but what the hell is even that? <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> High power shield belt. Here we go. Can you wear that? The Where did I go? Would you see that? I'm so fast. Can you wear that at the same time? Oh, my God. It works. Oh, the bars. <laughs> oh, look at all the bars. See, I don't mind the idea of me becoming a melee character. That might be quite cool. Especially because I've actually got a double passion in melee. Ah, right. Okay, so this is the other thing I saw a comment on. Sorry, I forgot to bring this up. Somebody said that they weren't sure that, that all of the uh, various things were being applied to the weapon. And they're actually right. Some of it isn't updating correctly. I believe it is the cooldown time. Uh, no, sorry, the aiming time. If we look at the cooldown time, you see, because I have that superpower that drops it down by 50%, that's working and takes it from 2.55 to 1.28. However... The aiming time isn't being applied, which is why when I was fighting Void yesterday, I was so slow between firing at different targets. And again, to reiterate, the problem is because we have this thing here, aiming time is supposed to be down by 50%, but it isn't working. However, 
Oh, this is where my grand plan all comes together. With a double passion in melee and over 15 skill, we can pick a specialization. One of these, I presume... Melee cooldown factor minus 2.5%. That might be exactly what I'm after. No, melee cooldown isn't irrelevant. Aiming time is, though. Maybe it's just this gun. It would be a lot cooler to be fighting Void with that enormous glowing halberd, wouldn't it? I think I've got to do it. I'm sorry. Goodbye, Plasma Gun. You were, you were fun, but you weren't good enough. Not for what we're up against. Food faster, flu prone. Yeah, I remember. I remember. It was pretty terrible. But it also looks really cool, doesn't it? They've done such a good job with this mod. Oh, and don't forget, it's more buttons for my bar. This is already overwhelming. <laughs> this is already way too much. <laughs> and much like 78, I could do a bunch of reinforcement on this thing. And it, and it does, don't forget, double up as a ranged weapon too. Oh, uh, does it, it does have a melee DPS as well. Oh, that's so cool. So because it uses uh, 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 a, a gizmo to fire shots with, it doesn't actually count as a ranged weapon. Right. Let's not get too carried away here. We got lots to do. First things first, we go for faster concrete production. That's just morally correct. We're just going to have to haul the resources we've got right now. We can't finish it, but we can at least put the stuff in it for now as kind of a reservation. Oh, the heal route is almost already grown for 78 Arco conversion sucks. We're waiting on that. We're waiting on the steel. I guess we'll throw down... Oh, but I am waiting for plasteel for it too. Throw down more big guns to kill Void. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a necessary evil. <laughs> Forget about concrete temporarily. Ah, oh, it breaks your heart. Oh, God. Hello. Uh, an unknown force will attack via land. An unknown force. Oh. It could be our death and destruction of the hands of Void. It could be mechanoids. At which point, it's just a Tuesday, isn't it? I think two extra turrets are going to do it. I don't think we're going to get enough resources in the next 12 hours. You know what? I'm a melee man now. Let's go for melee cooldown factor. Shit, what's that one? Armor penetration. Oh, I can get armor penetration other ways, though. Fine, 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 fine. Cooldown factor. Let's do it. Now, how else are we expected to get bars? Side powers, of course. I think any spare time when you're not researching that uh, ridiculous gun, you can just sat around. Sat around outside a tree. Everybody on the guns. Everybody on the guns. Grigna. I said get on the guns. Where's 78 going? What's wrong with you people? Oh, what's she doing? Why is she doing this all of a sudden? Hey. No, stop that. Get on the guns. What do you mean my guns are broken now? Oh, the guns aren't working. Ugh. I hate this game. <laughs> okay, um, well, get your katana and join me on the front line then, I suppose. Every single turret in this colony is now controlled by one enormous, stupid man. Oh! Oh, it's void proper. Oh, I knew this day would come. What have they done? Void. An artificially induced solar flare has begun. Intense radiation will shut down all electrical devices. Oh. Oh, well, never mind then. Grigna, you've got the day off, my friend. <laughs> a distant chemical fire has released a plume of poison over this entire region. We have a toxic fallout. Okay, that's great. Uh, the pods, though, have been scrambled. They have not been scrambled. The nuclear reactors are on the verge of exploding. And we've got my good friend's void. I'm very frightened. Uh... Okay. Okay, maybe that's not too bad. Maybe that's not too bad. We've dealt with these things before. I don't know what that enormous bacon man is, but... Hello? Uh, who's this? Black Titan. Oh, no. Weaponized Black Titan, the result of a Titan's prolonged exposure to high temperature in a controlled environment. What do you do? What do you do? Have I got to be worried about this? Oh, my God, look at his armor. Well, both the reactors have shut down. The power grid's completely off. The guns are offline. <laughs> Grigna, join us on the front line, my friend. We're gonna go down fighting. <gasps> Are you having a giggle? Are you having a fucking giggle? And that was like 20,000, 30,000 points of walls. Okay, well, never mind then, I guess. So I just do what they can and leave. Yeah, no, by all means. <laughs> yep. Oh, my med pod. That's the one thing I can't replace, you little piss heads. They've stolen my technology and they've just ran away. Oh, shit. We were not prepared for void. We weren't even remotely prepared for void. But not only were we not prepared, I think they just mugged us. What the hell? Right, that's it. At least take one prison. If we can get one alive and I can take their bionics. Hold on, you got to think about these things. If we can take one alive, do I have any sort of power that can instantly drop them? 
all these tools and I'll oh, sweep the legs. I don't want to kill them. How do I take you alive, though? We could take his soul. Knock him down, take his soul. That keeps him alive. And then we just remove all his organs piece by piece. Go. Get that man. No, no, no. Don't let him escape. Get that man. Nice. Oh, shit. I Whoa. I instantly killed him. Oh, shit. Well, that was unexpected. Um, what are you? You're a bacon man. I'm looking for another void member. If they all if they all ran off at this point. Shit, get that body on ice. Get that body on ice fast. Please don't tell me you cut off any limbs. Whole body, no pulse. Nice. Oh, my God. I hit him right through the heart. I have never had such hope in my life. <laughs> the walls can't stand, but holy shit, they have made a mistake. Uh, are you telling me that when Void Raid, this is poetic in a way. No walls are thick enough. No guns are big enough or resilient enough. There is only me. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Okay, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, stop, stop. We've got to make sure, A, uh, this Void Man is not immediately butchered. I th yeah, I was going to say, I think I removed the bill last time we had this problem. We need to make sure that this body is put on ice. Could I just resurrect them and steal their soul? I don't need to put them on ice. I just use a resurrect max serum and then I steal their soul. And then they are just an empty body ready to be taken to pieces so I can steal all their void components. Because void components are better than Arco components. I, d I did say do until one, right? With the, with the resurrectors. Hang on, let's just double check. Do until one, we've got one. <laughs> oh, you've given me the keys to the kingdom. That one man, that one single void person getting lost and finding me in a dark tunnel. Oh, you fool. Oh, I must have been like Gandalf, totally blinding him as I come around the corner. Oh, you fool. Oh, you fool. You have given me the keys to the kingdom. Now, if I resurrect him, I'm hoping he'll have... It, it, the, the, my, my mindset here is he will have resurrect mech sickness and then I just take his soul while he's down. If he gets back up immediately, okay, yeah, that's what I was a little bit concerned about. Um, we go into fist fight mode. We sweep the legs. Very nice. Then I take his soul because he's downed, right? I think we can do that. Take his soul. He's going to get back up too quick. Bollocks. Can I take his soul while he stood up? I presume not. No. No, I cannot. Instead, I'm just going to punch him through the kidney. Listen. Oh, with my tail. Since when have I got a fucking tail? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Okay, well, let's not risk it, because I'm just going to end up destroying more and more of him. Um, Autopsy. Autopsy table. Give me one of those. That was one of the first thing we got, so we've definitely got it here somewhere. It might just take me a while to find the damn thing. Yeah, autopsy table. Let's build it up silver, and let's throw it down somewhere relatively sterile. All the rooms are pretty sterile because of the floors that I've used. Put him here. Get that built. Let's get the body forbidden. We've got a very, very nice void minigun there. Ooh, oh my god, that is strong. 78. Oh, but she's got the katana. Why not both? Why not a katana and a minigun? That is the coolest combo of weapons anybody can ever have, just scientifically. Oh, there's another one! Wait, what? You fool. You fool. You fool. You actual fool. You should have left when you had the chance. Get out of my way, bacon-wrapped man. Ooh! No, no! You can't keep instantly killing them like this. Right through the void stomach. Oh my god, and through the void kidney. Their armor... Their armor is nothing. I should have been a melee character all along. I should have been a bloody melee character all along. What was I thinking? This is, this is insane. This is actually... Get in there. Bash. Look at my strength. Look at my strength. <laughs> what a fool you are. How could you be so naive? We've got two to put on ice. Uh, let's get another autopsy bed built as soon as possible then. Let's get them both autopsied right away. Oh, other way, other way. That means, forget about the Arco conversion for 78. We put her back to the way she started. With Void. And I told you that the big monsters would be far... Far more difficult to fight than the lower guys. No! Wait, what? Did you get back up? Or did I just randomly bash your body around for the fun of it? Hey? They're returning 4B serum. Did you just get back up then? What the hell was that about? I'm missing something. How did you get back up? Hostile to me. Yeah, no, understandable. Have a great day. Jewel blade. Ooh, that's fancy. Does count. Vengeance guard. I have no idea. I'm just going to put you in my pocket. I'm just going to put you in my pocket so I don't lose you. i to be honest with you, having all these buttons on this bar is horribly annoying. <laughs> put the void man in your pocket. 
There we go. Benefits having a war casket and super strength after all. I am I'm actually in awe. I'm flabbergasted that those walls did absolutely nothing at all for us. They didn't they didn't stop them in the in the least. Okay, let's drop them in here. Let's put them there like that. We could build a washing machine to wash the void. The, that stinky void armor that's now been soiled. Come back up again! What's happening with that? Why do you keep getting back up? I need to try and find a way to down them without killing them. You keep healing. Is that one of your... Narratonin 4B? What does that do? I, I have no idea. Replicates the resurrective properties of Narratonin Type 4 without causing the subjects to turn into zombies. Oh my god, you can just keep resurrecting. Oh, well, that explains it. Okay, well, that's fine. That's good. It gives me more chance to try and take you without killing you horribly. Okay, don't kill them. Don't kill them. Just punch them down. Knock them down. Steal their soul. Because without a soul, who cares if they can resurrect, right? Oh, God. Okay, okay, careful, careful. Are they going to bleed out? No, one condition intending. Oh! Did that just do what I think that did? I think they just destroyed my head. I think they just destroyed my head. And I think Grigna just stole my immortality. Grigna, you piece of shit! <laughs> it was accidental! Oh no, okay. Okay, this is the worst thing that could have possibly happened. Overconfidence, summon insidious killer, etc, etc. Get the katana out, avenge me. Oh, no, 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 get up. They, they are still void. They, this is very much overconfidence going... Don't you... Don't you die on me. Oh my god, this better not be another raid. Grigna. Another Grigna! That's <laughs> too many Grignas. Okay, don't let them escape though. I need those I need those limbs. I need those limbs. Oh my god, both they've both been knocked out. That was clever from Void. You've got to admit they've got strategies that even I can't comprehend with. They sent a very powerful assassin to kill me personally, knowing that my greed would not be able to resist their fancy void implants. Shit, Grigna, go for the glory kill. Grigna, go for the glory kill. Get him. Shit, where are they going? Man, I take them both. Well, they're, they're just here to cause chaos. Void are far too clever. They've decided to do what they can and leave. Stealing cooling tower? I don't think so. Grigna, avenge me. Avenge me! Avenge me! Oh, come on. Throw them. Oh, my God. I thought he'd actually killed them then. <laughs> that was amazing. Sweep the legs. Oh, no. Oh, Grigna. Oh, they're stealing the cooling tower again. 78, get up! What are you doing on the floor, you lazy? She's still knocked out. She's been totally knocked out unconscious. Other Grigna. Other friendly Grigna. Go stop them. A total goddamn mess. Other Grigna. Glory kill. Pathetic. Oh, they put the cooling tower down and stole the, stole his weapon instead. Well, I'd say uh, that went pretty well for our first void raid. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm like actually dead. They didn't destroy my neck, which means I can come back. They destroyed my skull, my jaw, my nose, my eyes, my ears, but my neck remained intact. They just sliced right clean through my jaw and upwards, I suppose. I can come back. You can't kill me. I'm I'm more than more than just a man. I am an idea. And look, I knew Void were ridiculous. I knew they were they were powerful. Uh, far too powerful. I can kill them. They can kill me. What I didn't expect is that we would be so equally matched. The problem is if I can kill them, they can also kill me. It gets to a point where your, your weapons just hit so hard. You get such a high armor penetration. You get so so many skills like the, like the combat that we saw them immediately knocking out 78 that it is just going to be one hit that determines most of these fights. The fact they tried to steal one of my cooling towers won't be forgotten. That's very rude of them. It's very much a dick move. Kill me and try and get the base to go into bloody meltdown. How long does this void flare last? I presume it's just like a regular solar flare. Who's this other Grigna? What am I going to do with you? I don't need another Grigna. 
I do need more blood, though, because 78 and me never seem to have enough. Okay, hold on. Freeze me. Oh, I could just use Resurrect Max Serum. I used it on fucking Void. And I haven't got the skill to craft another one. 78 doesn't have the skill to craft another one. Very clever. Very clever. Void, Void, they're on a whole other level. They wait for me. They, they give me this prize, this bait that they know I can't ignore. They wait for me to waste the Resurrect Max Serum on it. And then when they know that's gone, they kill me. They kill me permanently, or at least permanently for the time being. It's not very permanent. It's permanent until it's not. I don't think that makes much sense. We've got to wait for the power to come back. Then we've got to grow a new body for me. We've got to take all... We, we, we've got to take my cortical stack out of me and plug it into a new me. Then we've got to give my give me the, the armor again. Oh my god, all the skills. Everything is gone. Oh, shit. I'll still be Sanguophage, but I won't be I won't be a Mechanator. I'll have lost all the Psy powers. What about the superpowers? Uh, yeah, no, that's a real fucky-wucky. Why don't we put my old body on ice and resurrect me using me, new me, and then put and then put the cortical stack from new me into old me. <laughs> this is silly. But it might be the only way to maintain the powers, the Psy powers, and everything else. Oh, void. This is exactly what I wanted from that first void fight with Void. Holy crap. We, we've got to keep my, my original body. We can bring my consciousness back. My original body is too powerful just to just to get rid of. Get the stack out of me for a start, just in case the body rots or is destroyed or anything. You never know. Bodies tend to disappear in RimWorld, in my experience. Take the stack out. Put that somewhere safe. Never lose that. That's, that's, that's all that remains of me. Oh, there I am. Okay, well, let's let's put that on ice then. Get my original body on ice and then restore my original body so that we can reinstall the, 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 the chip containing my consciousness back in. I guess what we'll do then, just to ensure that it's not going anywhere, let's throw down a... Hang on, ancient machinery still works even in the solar flare, right? Uh, it does. Still working? Oh, it is still working. Look at that, minus 18 degrees C. Ah, the batteries still work just because they're not getting power. They can still feed the ancient machinery. So there is no situation, solar flare or otherwise, where if we throw down a sarcophagus in the freezer that the bodies inside those sarcophagus will ever rot. It's impossible. So let's throw down one for me, one for that Void member. Oh, Void, you think you've gotten away with it? And to be fair, they actually might have, because if they raid again, we're in a lot of trouble here. Uh, let's go ahead and say any human-like corpse, and let's get both of them moved in here. I mean, just round of applause for the storyteller. I don't know who we are on right now. I think we are on... Uh, blood and dust with... Oh, no, I put it on Merciless, because why not, of course. Uh, Cassandra Classic. I mean, round of applause, please, for the storyteller. Because that was... That was incredible. Void Man is safely away. And then let's get me put into... No, don't consume me. No, that's the opposite of what I want. Can we put that... Oh, we can. Prioritize banking cortical stack. So we can put my cortical stack in this in this enormous stack rack. Is that the right word? Stack array. Stack rack is better. There we go. In 33 over 25. And then we just grow a new version of me. We put the old... We put that stack in a new body. Then we use me to craft the resurrect serum for my old body. Then we... Which will, which will just be, a, uh, you know, like an empty flesh suit at that point because he won't have a consciousness then we take the disc out of new me and put it back into old me and everything is restored Ooh, <laughs> that's the type of immortality i can get behind i like that a lot and i guess at this point what do we do we sit here and we wait for the power to come back on and we pray that in that meantime the mechanoids don't decide that we're a target we pray that the m4 infected hordes don't think that i'm a target we just sit and we hope that we can get me back before Void come back. This has been uh, an, an, an incommunicable relief for me personally, because I haven't tested, uh, of course I know Void can raid us, but I hadn't tested us versus Void. I had no idea how that was gonna go, and it was it's so difficult to try and figure out how it's gonna go from the massive amount of variables we've got going on. I mean, you saw those bars, right? I was so worried that Void would turn up and we'd just get instantly destroyed, or we'd gone so far that by the time Void turn up, given all the delays and of course getting up to the tech level where they actually care about us that we would just annihilate them but this is more perfect than i could have imagined just blow for blow amazing thank you for joining me today talk about story development eh that's good i like that a lot i'm so happy with how that ended up couldn't be it's amazing it was totally a massive relief Thank you for joining me. Hope you're enjoying it. Nonetheless, thank you to Daffid, NZ, Cosmic, Zombie, Daedras, A Box, I Am Sagatair, Constable Corvus, Liddy's, Alto, Splendid Spleen Spell, Voodoo Mumbo, Ido, Somber Apoc, Igtenio, Some Idiot Guy, Seabark Train, Emily, Jack Higgins, Jam Plague, MGS to Tech Sound, Danny for Rest, Ethan Parks, and Dust.
for their support at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you. Thanks to you all, I don't have to take sponsorships for Raid Shadow Legends and, um, what, what do they sell? Like, Audible Trials and box food that comes through your door and then it's rotten by the time you get it. And Gamer Slop, of course. Thank you as well to Liam Smith, Geb, Blemished, Halo, D's, Nuts, Unruthless, Ever Vigilant One, Elliot Sandage, Gamer Man 7799, Thromash, Strange Inc., Trash Panda Paladin, Max Soplo, Skunkalope, Adamski, XD, and Danny Torno as well. See you all tomorrow. So hopefully I'll be back by then. <laughs> we should just have not no more episodes until I'm back resurrected. Friendship ended with Devil Strand. I'm not building Suka Kuka. <laughs> Friendship ended with Devil Strand. I'm not building the Su. Uh, Friendship ended with Devil Strand. Then I'm done with you. I'm not planting the Suka every time. Every time. Friendship ended with Devil Strand. I oh I'm not gonna plant the. <laughs> I can't even look at it. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm just gonna have to address this now, aren't I? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> so a lot of people were asking, uh, was the was the devil star sorry, the the suit was the Q Q <laughs> I can't even say it, oh, for God's sake. I'm gonna be here all day. While I'm looking at the plant screen, I've got to address the elephant in the room. Lots of people thought that this was a bit. I'm not even gonna try and say it. It's not my fault. There's the one song with the man talking about how they have antioxidants. You should put them in your oxy oxygens. I <laughs> This is not even fucking funny anymore. Oh my god.